religion was born. The world was introduced to a great mathematician. He is none other than Srinivasa Ramanuja Ayankar. He was born in Arab, Tamil Nadu in 1837. After the discovery of Ramanuja Pine and Ramanuja Tita, he has inspired many people and great interest in subject mathematics. The government of India in 2011 decided to make sure that 27th December is National Mathematics Day. Mathematics is a very important and much needed subject. Of all the subjects in the school curriculum, the most fascinating and most phobia creating subject is mathematics. While celebrating the dedicated life of Ramanujan, it is important to note that one uses mathematics in his everyday life from the time one gets up from bed till the time one goes to bed in the night. An attempt is made to illustrate some of these instances in which, in which children get to know more about mathematics. They involve themselves in it and they show interest and enthusiasm in the subject and learn it in a better way. Today is the 133rd birthday of Ramanujan. As we all know that we are celebrating the birthday of Sri Nivasa Ramanuja, it's National Mathematics Day. Sri Nivasa Ramanuja was born on 22nd December 1857 in Aero, now in Chennai. He was an Indian mathematician who lived during the British rule in India. He had made extraordinary contribution in the field of mathematical analysis, number theories, infinite series and continued fraction and the most inspiring thing about him is that all these were achieved without formal education in mathematics. It was his love and passion that led him to pursue mathematics at a very informal level yet to contribute more than others. Now we can look at two contributions of Srinivasa Ramanuja in the world of mathematics. 1729. 1729 is also known as the Ramanuja number. It's the smallest number which can be expressed as the sum of two cube numbers in two different ways. 1729 is equal to 1 cube plus 12 cube and 9 cube plus 10 cube. Next, partition of whole numbers. Take case of 3. It can be written as 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 0. We develop a formula for partition of any number which can be used to yield the required result by a series of successive approximations. During this pandemic, we can celebrate this National Mathematics Day at home. Friends, today I am here with a riddle for you people to solve. So this is it. It consists of three concentric uh, discs and each of them can be uh, turned independently on a common pin. Uh, so each disc is divided into 12 segments. What you people have to do is that you have to uh, turn the disc independently and the sectors formed by the segments should add up to, uh, to the same number in all the sectors. So if I, the task is to identify the number and match the disc accordingly. If you apply your mind, the riddle can be solved by anyone. Today I am here to present one of the mathematical objects. I am a three dimensional solid object with three surfaces, two flat surfaces and one curved surface. Flat surfaces are circular in shape and are parallel to each other and are joined by the curved surface. Can you guess who I am? Yes, I am the cylinder. My circular face is called as the base. The bases are always concurrent figures. The line segment connecting the center of my bases is called as the axis. My height is measured as a perpendicular distance between my bases. The distance from my axis to the outer surface is called as the radius. The volume or quantity that I can contain is calculated as pi r square h cubic units where r is the radius of my circular base and h is the height. Hi, I am going to talk about the cuboid. The cuboid is a three dimensional shape with six rectangular faces perpendicular to one another. It has length, breadth and height. These dimensions of the cuboid are the 12 edges. These edges meet at points called the vertices. So the cuboid has 6 faces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 8 vertices 
and 12 edges. Some examples of a cuboid in our daily lives are a tissue box, a book, a lunch box, a shoe box, bricks, mattresses and refrigerator. Hi everyone, welcome to the world of shapes. Everything we see in the world around us has a shape. Now I am here with a different shape called the ellipsoid. Real time examples of ellipsoid are watermelon, ball, skittles, etc. An ellipsoid is a three dimensional shape. Ellipsoid is a closed surface of which all plane crosser shapes are either ellipses or circles. An ellipsoid has three tramways perpendicular axis of symmetry which intersect at the center of symmetry called the center of the ellipsoid. Volume of the ellipsoid equal to 4 by 3 pi ABC where ABC are axis.